In 1970, alpinist Reinhold Messner is about to have what he considers to be a supernatural experience. While descending the slopes of Nanga Parbat, he suddenly feels the presence of an invisible climber behind him and to his right. This phantom presence phenomenon has been reported many times by people who have experienced extreme conditions, as well as patients suffering from schizophrenia. EPFL scientists have now managed to recreate this ghost in the lab. Their device can induce this type of hallucination in healthy subjects. We designed a master-slave robotic system where touch cues from the hand are fed back to the subject, to a particular body part, the back in our case, by the slave robot. We observed that all of our subjects as a group experienced to be in the presence of another person, of another human person, and to be touched by that person. So this time it really felt like uh, I, was, I was playing with somebody, something. So it wasn't myself that was poking me in the back, but it was as if I was playing with an animal, a monkey that was poking me in the back or something like that. It's actually about 100 years ago that the symptom was described first by Carl Jaspers in a range of patients suffering from uh, schizophrenia. And one very prominent model of schizophrenia today assumes that certain signals, how your brain predicts what is going to happen, if that, that those signals, let's say moving my arm over to the table and predicting that I should receive a touch cue at my fingertips at the moment I arrive at the table, that those signals are incorrectly integrated in schizophrenia. So what the data show are really two main findings. One is they inform us about how self-consciousness relates to bodily signals. Those signals from my body, I'm moving, I'm feeling, I'm seeing my hands, how are these integrated to form the self? The second finding is, is about the phenomenon itself, the feeling of a presence. It has been described in many extreme circumstances far away from the research laboratories. So this is the first time we're able to induce it experimentally using a custom-designed robot. Thank <laughs> you.